Man, that was a cool show, man. I love these energy games. They always bring so cool stuff. Yeah, and I love Eddie Energy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He seems like <laughs> a funny guy. Yeah. Hey, it's, Matthew, it's so cool that we moved in together after our both divorces. Yes, man, that's great fun. That's a bit like at college. <laughs> Remember the dorm parties we had? Gosh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hey, by the way, um, I managed actually to bring our old phone from my former house and actually, you know, we can actually put it next to the fridge and then we can have a beer always when we're on the phone. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, man, the beer sounds good. Let's have the beer. But look what I've got. I've got this wireless phone. We can simply have the beer and walk around phoning. Through the house? Yeah, man, you don't need to stay at the fridge. That's awesome. Okay, but at least I have one more thing, which is really cool. It's our old vacuum cleaner. That was a tough one with my ex, I tell you. But you know what, why I like it? It has such a long cable and it's so easy to plug in. <laughs> That's really a long cable. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure it's easy to plug in? Look what I've got. I've got this wireless Cinder one. You can simply walk around the house to vacuum. It's a Cinder one? It's a real Cinder. Wow, wireless vacuum cleaning. That's, that's convenient. Okay. I brought one more thing. Cool, show me. You got that one? It's our old good hot iron. It's so cool, I love it because it's so easy to handle, it's smooth and it's just smart and easy to maneuver. Yeah, it looks great, man. I'll let you iron my shirts, <laughs> but oh, man. I'll also let you trip over that cable. Look oh, what man. I've got. I've got a cable-free hot iron. A cable-free hot iron? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Man, all that wireless stuff you have. You're such a nerd. Ah, oh, shoot. I always have issues by plugging in my phone or the cable. So now it's empty again and I always need it. Yeah, that sounds like a serious problem. Yeah. Have a look at this. I have mine on one of those charge pads. You can just drop your phone. It's always getting charged. It's wireless. Super handy. Pad. That's handy. That's really handy. <laughs> hey, man. I have that friend I just wanted to tell about you. Um, I know I him? To, yeah, maybe you've met him once or twice. So anyway, I have that friend at my work actually and, and he has that task to design a new AGV, a kind of autonomous mobile robot and he's wondering what kind of energy system could he use and what would be the best technology to power it. Man, that's a no-brainer. Look at this. He can simply take a wireless charger for his robot. A wireless charger? What kind of advantage would a wireless charger have? He can have the charging integrated in his process. Super easy. Fully automatic charging begin. Okay, and what kind of components would he need? The, I mean, the friend? Okay, man. Just imagine, you have an AGV here. And you have a charging station here. You would have like, a charging pad on a station and a charging pad on an AGV. When the AGV approached to the station, by the way, it can approach from any side, the charging fully automatically starts. It's a clean surface. It's weatherproof. No contacts, no arcing, no sparks, no wear or tear, no debris. You're such a wireless nerd. Why do you know all that stuff? Man, I saw this trailer of documentary of those German dudes who dominate the European market in that technology. Okay, what was the name of the guys? We should have a look at the documentary. Just look for Wyferion online. Wyferion, okay. Let's stream it. Yeah.